Frayn Selak, a fortunate or ill-fated individual? If you have ever had a narrow escape from a dangerous situation while traveling by car, train, or plane, you may attribute your survival to a mere twist of fate. However, how would you characterize dodging the Reaper seven times consecutively? Providential, perhaps? From a certain viewpoint, that is the extraordinary story of Frayn Selak, often referred to as the world's most fortunate and unfortunate man. Selak, a Croatian by birth in 1929, lived an otherwise ordinary life as a music teacher until a life-altering train journey in 1962 initiated a sequence of incredible, almost unbelievable, events. The saga of Selak's encounters with death started when a train traveling from Sarajevo to Dubrovnik derailed, crashing into an icy river and killing 17 passengers. Selak escaped with a broken arm and hypothermia, managing to swim to shore before rescue teams arrived. In 1963, Selak took his maiden plane ride after learning his mother was unwell. En route from Zagreb to Rijeka, disaster struck when a plane door blew open, leaving Selak plummeting through the sky without a parachute. The plane crash killed the flight attendant, two pilots, and 17 passengers, but Selak miraculously landed on a haystack that cushioned his fall. A bus ride in 1966 turned disastrous when the vehicle plunged over a barrier into a river, killing four people. Predictably, Selak swam to safety, emerging with only minor cuts and bruises. He was soon rescued by emergency services. In the following years, Selak's encounters with death did not cease. His car burst into flames while he was driving, and he managed to escape moments before the vehicle was destroyed by fire. He was hit by a bus in Zagreb the same year, sustaining only minor injuries. In 1973, a faulty fuel pump caused a car he was in to erupt into flames, leaving him with singed hair but remarkably unscathed otherwise. After a 20-year respite from near-death experiences, Selak decided to take a drive through the mountains in 2003. Encountering a truck coming straight at him, he swerved and crashed through a barrier guarding a 300-foot cliff. He jumped clear, grabbing onto a tree as he watched his car crash down the precipice. Following these experiences, friends were understandably reluctant to travel with him for fear of encountering another potentially fatal situation. Despite his numerous death-defying experiences, Selak remained hopeful. In 2003, he stated, I was either the world's unluckiest man or the luckiest, but I choose to believe the latter. Selak's optimism was perhaps buoyed by his lottery win, reportedly scooping up a jackpot of £600,000, approximately $1 million. Known as the world's luckiest man for cheating death repeatedly and winning the lottery, Selak himself believed he was unlucky to have been in those dangerous situations in the first place. What's your take on this? We welcome your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share.